Hey everyone, it's Sandy and I am here to share a layout with you that I did with Danielle Brown and mine is going up several hours late. I am so sorry about it, but here it is. So what we agreed on was that we were going to use a bloom collection. We were going like anything we had from it and whatever else we wanted. Plus we were going to use a stencil and that is what I'm doing right now. I have, I'm not, i am be honest, I am not like real particular with my stencils. As you can see, it's got a lot of black stuff on it. Um, when I was using it for my, um, what do you call it like that mixed media books and stuff like that I would wipe it clean but I didn't like try and get it all off as you can see so and it doesn't really bother me so it's not like clumpy or anything it just has black on it but it's not coming off so basically what I'm doing right now is I have some basics paint that I picked up at um Michael's I believe and I picked this up probably last year and it's in gold and I'm just using that to go ahead and put through the stencil and at first I was trying to get it all over the stencil but then I thought well really I'm not going to put anything you know I'm going to put a picture in the middle so I just really need to get around the side so that's what I'm doing right here is I'm getting it around um, the sides now the other thing in our challenge so our challenge was to use a bloom collection to use a stencil and to uh, do a picture about ourselves. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like when I peel the stencil up. Okay, so there we go. I pretty much got the paint everywhere I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it up and there you go. That's what we're left with. Now, I think that stencil is from the Creative Workshop, which is, um, I forget but that's the name of the brand like the creative workshop I believe is what the name of it is so there we go that's what I don't know the actual name of the stencil sorry but it's I've had it for quite a while so I set that aside to drive dry now this is a picture I'm gonna be scrapbooking this is a picture that I did print with those first set of prints from that Parabu app that uh, I did a review on so it's five by five and I have this streamer that I bought, I believe from Target. I am not sure like in their party section, but I've had it for quite a while. And if you don't have, I bought it months ago. So if you don't have any, I believe the click kit has something similar to this that they sell by the yard or two. So anyways, the thing that I like about this streamer is that it's kind of like, it holds its shape really well. So as you can see, I'm putting like pleats in it as I'm laying it down. And even if I wasn't laying it down to the glue, it would stay because it's kind of, it's not wiry, but you know how you get that ribbon that has wire in it and it holds its shape. That's what it reminds me of because it's like foil. That, there we go, like foil. So it holds its shape really well. So I'm going to go around all four sides, putting this down, and then I'm going to trim it down some. So there you go. You can see I did the first side. I'm going to go ahead and trim it and I'm going to do the rest of it. And I will spare you from watching me do that because that did take about under 10 minutes, about eight or 10 minutes to do it. So let me go ahead and stop here and I'm gonna forward on to what it looks like at the end. Okay, so there you go. I have all four sides done and there wasn't any rhyme or reason what I did. I didn't care if it was super neat because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it down some because I am gonna put the picture like at a diagonal like that, it's gonna take up a lot of the 12 by 12. So you really don't need a lot of embellishments or a lot of things going on around it because I already put that stencil down and I knew I was going to have to trim that down so I'm going to go ahead and trim it and then what I'm going to do to pop up the picture is I'm going to get some of that um, chipboard that I used all up in last month's kit and I'm just going to put that behind it to help pop it up on the layout. Okay so there we go I've got it pretty much trimmed up the way I want and there's that chipboard you could see really briefly on the back so it would pop it up off the layout so I'm going to go ahead and stick it down and that's going to help because from here I didn't know what else I was going to do with my layout but I'm going to go ahead and trim it down because I know it's going to need something like a paper backing or something like something to border the layout so I'm going to go ahead and trim it down while I don't have any ephemera on it or anything that's what I'm doing here so then I know I'm going to have to put a piece of 12 by 12 behind it now I was lucky enough to grab several pieces from the Bloom Collection when Paper Issues had them. Um, I think as she was putting them out, I was putting them in my cart. So 
Uh, there's a lot of flowers in the ephemera pack. And what I find kind of funny is flowers were never my things, but now I love them. I love cutting them in half and layering them in pieces. So now as I'm putting them down, I really don't know what I want to do. I thought, well, I'll try and do like three clustered areas on the diamond. But I thought, you know what? I think there's enough in here. I'm going to go ahead and put flowers all the way, all the way around the frame. So I knew a lot of them were going to get hidden under that ruffle, uh, what do you call it, mm, streamer stuff. <laughs> so I went ahead and I cut, it, cut them in half and I would put, you know, one piece under and then put, tuck the other in normally on the opposite end of the page. So there you go. If I did it on the bottom left, I would put it on the top right. And there's a few pieces where they do just have the leaves. So I put those on the points right here, as you can see me doing it now. And you know what? It came together really, really easy and I like it. Now I want another pack of this ephemera because I've used most of the flowers. I have still a few left, but it's so, they're just so pretty. I really do like them. And I just find it funny because things that I didn't used to like in the past are things that I like now. Like remember, I used to, if you've watched my channel for a while, uh, I used to never like anchors. Like when they came out with the anchor ephemera pieces or wood veneers. And those are still not my favorite, but I can use them on a page. And I never liked arrows, love arrows now, and just different things like that. Flowers weren't my thing, and now I like it. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and sneak that black swan up there. Does it mean anything? Nope, not to me. It doesn't mean anything. But it's kind of like hidden in those flowers. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tuck it in there. So first I tucked it in just to make sure I liked it. Now I got, I think I got about four 12 by 12 sheets when I put my order in. And now I wish I gotten more. I really like this black paper. I like both sides. The back is like this really cool wood paper that looks like, uh, like flooring. And then this side is so pretty. So I'll, if it comes back in stock, I'm definitely going to order some more. But I did cut out the middle so I could save some. There we go. See that? It's really quick. I'm sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down or put some glue around it and go ahead and lay my layout down. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. I really think it helps just with because you can see a little bit of the flowers behind it and it goes with the flowers in the middle. I thought it went really well, so I just stuck it down. And you know what? I decided to go ahead and keep that swan. So I put some pop dots on and I went ahead and just stuck that in. So when you saw me add all those flowers around my frame, when I, I turned the camera off because I didn't want to just bore you through all that. But all I did was put pop dots under all of those flowers different sizes some a little thicker some a little smaller and that's how I kept them in the same spot so now I was like what else am I going to add I don't want to add too much because it feels like it's got a lot going on but I have this butterfly paper that's actually from the bloom collection as well it's one of my favorite papers uh, I think I've already ordered two other you know to because I knew I wanted a fussy cut one and they're just so pretty and springy kind of I thought they were so pretty so that's what I'm doing here you're going to see me fussy cutting one and then I'll go ahead and cut more and then I'll show you where I'm going to put them at. So there we go. I went ahead and cut about five or six of them and I tucked them in. I showed you I have two on the top, one kind of by the swan, one in the bottom left hand corner, one towards the bottom right. And then I felt like it needed something. I knew what my title was going to be. And this is what's funny is I've already seen Danielle's video. I saw it this morning when she posted hers. I had to work this morning and I watched it while I was working. And her title is the exact same as mine. <laughs> so I know I've seen several people do this on YouTube where they do a page about themselves. And it's like me at this age. So me at 38. I'm 38 right now. And that picture was taken just a month or two ago. I believe I had dyed my hair a little bit darker and had taken a picture in the car. And I really liked the picture. So uh, this was one of the prints that I did get. So I was glad that I had this print on hand. I just think it's so funny how both of us were influenced by that title. So it just tickled me when I saw hers this morning. I even told her, you know, I think I told her, I'm not sure, that I liked hers but I didn't want to tell her what my title was either because I thought it was so funny. So I'm just looking at the ephemera pieces, seeing if I can add, not ephemera, but I did get the, the sticker sheet, seeing what I could add. I'm looking at the chipboard sheet and seeing if I could add anything to there. And I noticed one of my stickers is messed up. See right there, having it open, it's like the peeling of the actual sticker came up off of it. But 
Oh, well, I just noticed that and I thought I would tell you, I guess. So there's a sticker at the very bottom and it says my happy heart. And I'm going to go ahead and put that at the bottom with a piece of washi tape and another butterfly. So that's what I'm going to add right here. Okay, so there we go. It just kind of shows the embellishment at the little bit at the bottom. And I kind of was fussing with a lot of different alphas that I had, but I decided to use these little Heidi Swap ones. And then I believe I have, I think it's Dear Lizzie, where it's like gold foil numbers and hearts and circles. So that's where I got the 38 from, and you're going to see me put it down. And I'm going to use the me right there from that little Heidi Swap set. So the me and the at sign. So that's it. That's my layout. I hope you enjoyed it. This was so much fun to do. It was so much fun to use a stencil. I don't know. It just feels like it's something different than I've done in a whole, you know, in a long time. So I really, really appreciate Danielle for doing these uh, videos with me. And I do know that several people asked uh, or, you know, said they would like to challenge me. So throughout the weekend, I'm going to go ahead and start getting in touch with people so we can have some more challenges as well as I hope continuing these with Danielle. So there you go. There's my layouts and I have some still shots coming up. Thanks for watching.